Hello and welcome to my eighth tutorial in this Skyrim creation kit series. My name is Daganus and I'm from the Skyrim Nexus. Right, today what we shall be going through is adding water and adding water features uh, such as a waterfall, adding effects to the waterfall and adding sound to the waterfall and to the water. Right, what we need, obviously as usual, what we need to do is file data make sure skyrim.esm is checked and your dungeon you're working with is checked as well but make sure what we're working with i.e. the dungeon is set as active press ok let it load up it will come up with the usual warning signs which you usually, uh, as always press yes to all to and now when it's all fully loaded you want to go to your um, dungeon your interior you're working with in the cases of this tutorial again it's still the AAA test dungeon which we've been using and progressing through the series and once it's all loaded in the render window in all its might what we what you want to do is find the appropriate water it could be anything you want and what you need to do is in the object windows go to world objects then go to water and it will come up with a list of all the different types of water you can play about with what you want I mean let's just for it, it won't show up in there my bad let's just pick creek water as you can see it's a bit murky and there you can see its effects if we turn the lights off it's, well, it should sort of yeah there we go well, now what I'm going to do is add water to the um, entire bottom half of this dungeon uh, not sorry not the bottom half I mean sort of ankle deep just to give it a bit more more of a feel of it's old it's worn down it's uh, dilapidated so I'm just going to turn the FX off and the lights back on now for this tutorial I am going to use the murky water so, so it's a bit dirty it's a bit unclean you know and it has that feel to it there's a whole list of water, different water types here um, go through each one drag them in see what they look like if you don't like it press delete go back and try again so I'm just gonna go and drag this one in here now what I want to do is I need to expand it good thing about the water is it's one of the few things that you can upscale and the textures won't be disturbed thankfully so I need to change the height uh, the whole size of it so it covers the whole dungeon area so you can use the S and left click and drag or alternatively you can just press 2 and it will come up with that option there yeah you just bit bit finickety so I'm just going to do it the, my, the way I, I usually do it just easier, quicker now what you want to do is do it so it's all the way to the stairs so then it sort of looks like it stops at the stairs and otherwise if you have it stopping halfway through a room it, it won't it will look odd because it's, it's just sort of like a sheet of paper this is the sheet that's all it is now as you can see here there's our water and what we need to do we could leave it like that actually doesn't look too bad and as you can see it's quite shallow that's about ankle height Let's see what it looks like over here. Right, good. Now we turn the FX on and the lights on. And as you can see, the lights are interacting with the water thusly. I don't get lost in this darkness. Do do. Right, just turn the, the lights back on. 
might just raise it a tiny little bit The key is you, you want it to make it look slightly flooded but at the same time you don't want to drown your containers for example. Like here you can see it's sort of half in half out. What I also might do is just add another candle. See this editing process you, you can always add things here and there that's one of the good things so I'm just going to do that and just move that around a bit and see what that looks like well, there you go that chest is now quite very visible As you can see, all the containers and objects are above the water. And when you're running through, you'll be able to hear the sounds of splashing water as you go through, which is all good. So that's the water done. So I'm just going to go and save. Turn the FX off and whatnot. And now we're going to go and add a water feature. Now what I had envisaged is we're going to have a waterfall that's just going to come down here and come into this area hopefully so what you want to do is I know the walls are all set there's no holes but you, you can just sort of manipulate it by putting some sort of boulders around it making give it give it a little hole in the boulders here maybe so it's, it sort of looks like there's a, a water feature coming down so I'm just going to move that out of the way save it again and what you want to do is in the filter box in the object window type waterfall and then click is it static I think it, yes here we go uh, slope choose any, any of the ones you want there as you can see there is our waterfall obviously not completed there we go it looks all it's going now I'm just scale this down because it's a bit too big far too big for uh, what we need and I want it to come in oh sorry I want it to come in just about here maybe let's push it back a bit lower it a bit I actually want it to sort of merge in that's the first part of the waterfall obviously you've got a massive gap here so there's a slope static as well which you can just go in and add let's uh, make sure we've got the right side here we go and just scale it down again and you can make it uh, scale it so it fits maybe I just want it to come down in this area so I can maybe place a rock there and sort of make it sort of flow ideally what you want is um, connect it to the water that's already there you just play about the controls until it's sort of how you want it now what I'm going to do is add all the different steams splashes and to try and hopefully hide uh, certain obvious parts like here and here for example so for now we can just press FX to see what it looks like and that's what the waterfall looks like now if we turn the lights off that's what the waterfall looks like it looks quite good already actually but we can make it look better that's a good, one of the good things about this so what we want to do is splash you can type in 
Plus, I believe it's splash, splash text there. Oh no, yes, press FX, splash, splash, splash. So we'll just add. There you go, you've got a little splash bit here. So you can go and duplicate that. Oh no, that didn't quite work. Duplicate that so there's another splash. Turn M, um, M for the markers to turn off. As you can see, it's added a little bit more detail there. Obviously, we want to add more. So, do do do. Drip splash. Let's just see what this is like. Yeah, that just adds some drips. That's okay, that's handy. Handy dandy, as they say. See, what you want to go and do is just go through and add a variety of uh, different textures, animations, ambient bits. Um, we could type waterfall in again, see if that comes up with anything in here. And obviously, here you go. If you type waterfall in and go to all, you've got a long list of what you can add. Yeah, waterfall mist blast. Let's add one here. Okay, that's not quite where I wanted it. If you can't select the item you want, you just have to go into this list. There you go, and select it. That's our mist. As you can see, just there. Maybe that's a bit too powerful. So I'm just going to go and delete that. Ah yes, this is just to sort of um, usually goes at the top. Can use it to um, hide certain aspects of the waterfall, as it were, and just give it a bit more texture. Let's just go and place this up here and see what it looks like with the FX. Maybe just oh, turn it around a little bit. As you can see, it's sort of water flowing the wrong way. it down a bit more if it will let me raise it up I'm just going to put it there so it sort of sp looks like it's uh, spraying almost a bit too much so yeah that's what the thing you, you need to get all different angles because it may look fine at one angle but it will be completely wrong at another angle now what we want we want uh, da, da, da. Mist blast got thin. Do, do, do. Thin spray. Ideally, what we want to do, we want to add spray and mists to these areas just to sort of hide them slightly. Uh, and um, oh, where's that one gone? Yeah, just 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 to add mists, make it a little more 